BioBlitz is an effort to document all of the life in a, in a particular area uh, with particular emphasis on, on layers of life that we're not accustomed to seeing all the time. It's, it's to build this database of what do we have so that we can work at preserving and protecting it. And the idea is you come in and you, you try to inventory as many species as possible in a short amount of time using volunteers and professional scientists. Local volunteers are our citizen scientists and anybody can become involved and we encourage people to become involved in science and hopefully learn a bit about their ecosystem. They don't have to be trained scientists. Part of the event is some training because they're working with team leaders who are the experts. It's a great way for people to become involved in scientific expeditions of a sort, and it lets them know that what kind of life might be in a park, whereas they previously thought maybe there wasn't much there. It really does help to get the public to understand what, is, what actually is found in many of the parks in the United States. It's important to get people involved in their, in their local, local world, in, a, in their national parks and uh, it's good to develop uh, some scientists and uh, new stewards for the park who will take care of it after we're gone. If we knew about what was really here, we would have a much better way of monitoring how good a job are we doing with conserving the richness of the life on this continent. You cannot protect things if you don't know they're there. In order to protect them, you must find out that they're there, and that's the purpose of an inventory. This data is preserved, is studied, and uh, we're hoping to give people that opportunity to gain some ownership and interest. And the more aware the general public is of those species that occur around them, the better off we are as far as protecting or conserving unique natural resources.